She was a pioneer, and certainly in terms of the visual arts. I keep uh, describing her as America's premier filmmaker in this area. And I think she is, and her body of work proves that. She was one of the first people to really develop a way of looking at the work of an artist, of integrating the life of the artist into an overview of the artist's work so that you come away with a deeper understanding of both the person and the work. What I found was most interesting about Perry's approach to art was not that she was telling the viewer, this is good art, or this is something you should appreciate. What she did was to frame it thematically through storytelling and made us enjoy it and get engaged with it without telling us what to like. It's really been my motivation, I think, for most of my, my life and my career, that if you, want to, if you want to change people's minds and their attitudes, if you want to teach them or tell them anything, you can't lecture to them. You can't just talk. You have to entertain them. If you give a form to your ideas uh, that is uh, that involve them emotionally, that make them laugh, that make them cry, that, that touch them emotionally, then they're open to the message. You know, she has this beautiful, wonderful visual eye. She figures out a way, now how can I make this so visually appealing and yet get the historical or the cultural substance of the stuff out there to the public? Perry was definitely, definitely way ahead of her time. The range of films that she created are so extraordinary. <laughs> you can just see this vast list of extraordinary documentaries on amazing subjects. And each film is unique and worthy of scrutiny because they're incredibly interesting and, and well, well crafted.